Statistics are up to date. Actors all have their HIV card. What's my shit, guys? What is going on here? <laughs> Gang bang through. Okay. Permits are task force. Up to date. Actors all, right. all have their HIV. When's Donna getting back? This morning. So obviously she's being targeted because she gave money to Sons of Anarchy. Most likely, if they found out. You haven't said much to me since Oakland. I don't got much say? to say, I guess. Right. Yeah. Like, who's ever ready? No, it's about something bigger, man. Club. He family. was. But still. I got you past it. I'm trying to run a department here. Mind telling me how I'm going to do that without an office? You know about this? Probably. No one knew. I love a good surprise. Yeah, I don't know. He probably knew. What the hell is going on? Your personal and professional relationship with the Sons of Anarchy has been well documented. Is that so? Yeah. Escort chief funds are out. He poses a security risk to my investigation. Yes, ma'am. He was scrawny uptight. Let's go. You didn't have to humiliate the guy. You're the one who got this ball rolling, Sparky. You want to play in my backyard? Exactly. See? Or the cow pastures. I want to stop Sam Crow. Good. Then let's catch up. The murders we had here last week, this all points to the sons. Yes, and I've got to convict. It's all circumstantial evidence. That is why I am going to use RICO. We need to prove that the Sons oh, of Rico. Anarchy is an ongoing criminal enterprise. And how okay. does Luann Delaney play? That would make a lot of sense. I think if you're going to take them down, RICO would probably be the best way. And also taxes. Look at this. Taxes we have to show that there's been illegal activity over the past 10 years, so we use Luann's incarceration as a bargaining chip with her husband, Otto Delaney. We dig up the dirt in the past, and then we go after the present. These guys will never rat. You're really missing the theme here, honey. I'll lock clubs. Wait, wait. If he would have called you honey, you would have me too this man. How about you not call him honey at all? Do not keep their women in the Combs, right. He pushed her straight into Teller's arms. What's the matter, deputy? You got a little stiffy for Miss Tara? She... Listen, I think you should be looking to file some type of charges, bro. She's talking pretty recklessly. And she is absolutely the one that's in a position of power. I think you should be looking to do something um, uh, legally here. Now she... I don't either. I'm gonna be honest. I don't either. <laughs> You're smart, Donna. You get your kids, and you get as far away as you possibly can before Sam Crow rips your family apart. It's only a matter of time before Obi's back inside again. We both know that. I don't need a cop to tell me what's wrong with my family. I don't know shit about Obi's club business. And even if I did, I never ran on him. Call her honey. She, she'll probably like that. You're waiting for the cash. It wasn't mandatory. I know. I was just trying to help the club. That's all right. I'll uh, pull it out of the treasury fund. Thanks, man. Hey, yo. You doing okay? Yeah, just shit at home. Not really. I got it handled. He's not doing okay. He doesn't have it handled. What's going on with him? It's hard to... Uh, head someplace else and because of the situation he's in financially he could be the one that takes everything down too much of that shit going around lately uh -huh. well does she say thirty two thousand dollars in credit card debt no it just was a, like a delayed reaction here um how does that even happen 
I guess using the credit card as like a, an emergency fund and, and basically making minimum payments exclusively while most likely having terrible credit. But I guess you, your credit wouldn't be terrible if you're if you were able to have the ability to rack up that amount of, of credit card debt, most likely also high interest credit card debt. Yeah, you'll never get out of that. Unless you paid like gigantic lump sum payments, like 10,000, 10,000, 20,000. Because it, it, it's gonna, it, it runs up faster than you can spend, than you can like pay off. I'm guessing, I'm guessing Chase Sapphire or something, something with a high, a high limit. Excuse me? Wait, your mom died when you were nine. You left Charming and your drunk daddy 11 years ago. Moved in with an aunt in San Diego. Lawyer. My father's cousin. Right, right. You graduated UCSD with honors. You were oh, you know, so you know all my information? Attorney. You're top of the class at Loyal and Med. And you did your internship at... Fair enough. Do you know of any illegal activity that Jacks Teller or the Sons of Anarchy are involved in? No, I don't. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Call her honey. Well, listen, um, if you do think of something or you see something that just doesn't feel right, would you please give me a call? Pass. Thank you for your time, Doctor. Now, what exactly is it you're hoping to find? She knew all about me. She knows about us. It's all smoke. We got nothing on Sam Crow, so now they're harassing people close to us. I'm sorry. Normally a telltale sign. You didn't say anything. Fact-finding missions. No, of course not. I wouldn't let you get hurt. Okay. Like, bro, do you really think that she would have done the same exact thing for you? And if the answer is no to that, why would you do that in the first place? Like, do you know how many guys are literally sitting in jail um, because someone else wrote a check that they themselves couldn't cash, but they were hoping that someone like him would come and do something like this to someone else? They're free. You're not. You need to be a little bit less emotional in situations like this. Make sure you pay attention to, to scenarios like this, right? Because it happens a lot. Again, you can pretty much guarantee the the violent crimes that you know that are in that are in prisons. A lot of them stem from someone saying something to someone else, and then someone else that wasn't even there that it didn't doesn't affect them at all, personally. It affects you, right? Not them, but they're in jail. You're not. You're free. Right? Let me guess. Do you, do you put money on their books? Do you go and see them? No? Okay. <laughs> Bro, do not put your life at risk for a single other human at all. Your kid? Maybe. That's it. Not a single other human. Will they do it for you? No. You knew that I was gonna go back to Sam Crow. What the hell else was I gonna do? I'm not your brother. I'm not your dad. Can't be a good old boy chucking wood from six to six. I earn with the club. That's what I know. That's how I support this family. I'm doing this because of you. Because I love you and the kids. It, it seems like, you know, there, there are two angles to, be, to, to look at it, right? I mean, yeah, you're doing it because you think that this is all you can do to support your family. Uh, in all actuality, it's not. You just pointed it out. You, you called um, a couple of her family members good old boys because they're out working nine to fives. Bro, a nine to five, perfectly fine. I'm telling you, it may, will it make the amount of money you're probably making now? No, right? But it's legal. It's legitimate. It's honorable. What are you doing, right? So some of this is because you yourself know you can't get out of this life. You really can't. This this is to your death, right? But all right, you can say what you want to say, but it's flawed. It's a flawed statement. 
Well, he wouldn't divorce me, so I left. Took everything. Took the car, took the money, took the dog. You wanted for grand theft. And arson. I burned down our condo. Nice touch. He was such you... a dick, Gemma. Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, we only hear one side of the story, and I, and I never believe one side of the story at all, right? The fact that you just said, I burnt down the condo and took all the money and the car. Yeah, I don't know, bro. All right. And arson. I burned down our condo. <sighs> nice touch. He was such a... He's the sadistic. A dick, Gemma. Jesus Christ. That's how I'd do it. Yeah. I've seen you in action. You almost killed that one with a skateboard, didn't you? We've mended fences. I guess so. What was she doing? Asking for the Queen's advice? What lies to tell? I'll bet that there is... How was she getting away with this? I, listen, I'm... I, I need... I, listen, listen. Stop touching people. Okay? <laughs> Please. Stop touching people. <sighs> Enough secrets in that pretty head of yours to bury an empire. Like, that would be enough for me to literally start a lawsuit. I'm telling you. That's all I need. Please never touch me if you see me in public. Don't touch me. I don't like being touched. Can't stand it. Whew, that's enough right there. That right there is enough. I'm just a wife and mother, darling. Got Luann on drug charges, Cherry on theft and arson. That don't make sense. Stahl's trying to use Rico. If she could prove her case, she could take you all down. And if we go down? Why do you think I'm sitting at the goddamn table, Scotty? We got anything to be worried about with the doc? She's seen a lot of shit over the last couple of weeks. Little yeah. Miss Tara's the one I got ATF here in the first place. You got nothing to worry about with Tara. I trust her. You think you can get me inside? I doubt the feds are working around the clock, but I got four guys uh, in dispatch on 11 to 7. Well, maybe we come up with something. Keep them busy. Well, you clear them out, I'll get you in. What about, like, security cameras? It's a police station. I got cops. I don't need cameras. Maybe I should go with you, talk to Cherry. Me and Elp. That's crazy. Maybe you shouldn't take him back out again. Let's go be honest. Or this is going to be the time where he actually proves himself as uh, somewhat of a value to the club, right? Most likely. <clears throat> Another person are thinking about it. About any favor? Yeah. 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 I'm good. Yeah. What do you want? You give me something on Sam Crow, and I cut your wife loose. You want to have to her to get to me? Yes. <sighs> it's a waste of time. Turn the camera off. All right, look, I'm going to be straight with you, OK? <clears throat> I got this bullshit case dumped on me. Last thing I want to be doing is running around humping outlaw bikers. The camera isn't off. I just need something to take back to my bosses. If the intel leads nowhere, then. Bro, trust nothing that's, that she's saying. I'm not plugged into Sam Crow anymore. My boss doesn't know that, does he? Just give me any old dead shit. I really don't care. I want it all in writing. All of it. In a conjugal. I want to see the win. I'll try to make that happen. I gotta just... Be okay here, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Hey, what would have happened if you'd left with me 11 years ago? Who would have been a different person? <sighs> I don't know, Tara. He would not be at all. What would have happened is. if you stayed? She would be who you are. Or like the other women. Maybe I wouldn't have killed someone. What do you want? 
I want you to stop listening to my crazy mom and get some sleep. Well, we can't keep looking the other way. We need to think about this. What the hell are we doing? He seeks pleasure in, in being your white knight. Do you love me? It's a simple question, babe. She better after what you did. It's not a simple answer. And that's why you shouldn't have went over her house and did what you did. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why. I know. What's happening here? It's not a simple answer. It should be very simple. I know. You call that man over to save your life. <laughs> he deletes somebody. <laughs> and you don't even know if you love him. <laughs> oh, God, guys. And you're going to see her again, right? Okay. What the hell is wrong with him? A, a lot. This is too long, my friend. A lot is wrong with that man. You do this. No. That's so cute. Stay here. Call if anyone shows up. I thought you wanted me. Just keep your eyes open, dude. He doesn't trust you. I can't do that. Your mom's right. I'll rat if I stay in here. I'll rat. Come on. Please. Please take me with you. Mom. Shut up. Come on. Okay. So just on a whim, you just do a jailbreak. On a whim. With cameras everywhere. He just consistently makes terrible decisions, bro. Oh, 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 what the hell are you going with her? We gotta take what this one with us. You're breaking her out? Yeah. Now I am gonna go get me some yesterday. Mm. Lou Anne's immunity and your get out of jail free card. You're, uh, missing a couple signatures. I sign off on them after you hold up your end. I'm reaching in my pocket. Just a napkin. I'm thinking about going nomad. I can spend some more time with her. You know, there's always a seat at that table for you, my brother. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, Bobby. You got to snuff. Your mom needs anything, killer. Thank you. Hey. Let's move out. He seems like a nice fellow. Jack said ATF is using Rico against the club. Are the feds pressing you to turn? Because of me? No, 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 no baby, no. I, I took care of it. I got you clear. <laughs> Poor Otto. Not even. Trip kids. Just in case. Hmm. 
No more burning down. Right. You want to make sure we got it all right, please? I hope you had a nice visit. I did. Thanks. You sign, then I'll sign. Did I say this was June or July? Looks like July. Ah! 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 Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> I'm gonna bury the. Well, I guess that's one way to kind of get out of whatever you wrote down on that uh, piece of uh, toilet paper there, guys. I mean, that's one way, I guess. Um, I don't like the ATF agent at all, bro. Like, like everything about the demeanor. How about this? It could just be because she's ATF and I just have a problem with ATF generally. Just the idea of their existence to a certain extent. Uh, I think they, they, they mess with the wrong people generally, right? There should be people that, there are people in groups like this group, right? Who definitely should be looked at, but a random person, uh, you know, just at their house, you know, not committing any type of craziness, uh, I think should be left alone generally, right? So that I, I know that I could be going into this with a slight bias against the ATF in general, right? And their, their absolute hatred of all, t all dogs, right? But here's the thing. The situation between Jax, right? Um, I'm not sure that he should have went over there that night, bro. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think that he should have. Uh, there was no, like specifically if she's like, I don't know if I love you, bro. Do you see what he just did? And you still don't love him? Oh, come on, bro. That's crazy. That's too much. That's too much now. I could not, listen, I get it. Like I could be looking at it too, I don't know, roughly, I guess, in this instance, but it, it feels as if that's crazy. Not like normal, I may be overthinking it too much. No, bro, I think that's absolutely insane that, that you would do that and then the person that you did that for still doesn't even know if they love you. That's wild. That's too much. Um, but it does seem like, um, with the, let me see, one, two, th there's three more um, episodes uh, on this season here. So I wonder if we're going to get some type of resolution, maybe. Um, that's only my, th that's my thing. That's where I'm at right now, guys. But if you would like to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.